Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. This is the third part of multi-part mini video series on how to deploy Windows 11 with MDD and WDS. In this video, we will configure Microsoft Deployment Toolkit settings and prepare our lab for Windows 11 deployment. In the last video, we have installed and configured Windows Deployment Services on this server. Link to that video is given in the description. Once you have installed MDT on your Windows Server, the next step is to configure the features and settings. Click on Start menu and click on Deployment Workbench. Expand Deployment Shares At the moment, we don't have any deployment shares created on this server. Right-click on Deployment Share and select New Deployment Share. The first thing we are asked is important. Just like WDS, we have to specify the deployment share path. We will change this drive letter from C to E. We want to keep the path, but we want to send anything we put here to our E drive. Click Next. At the end of the shared folder name, the dollar character makes this folder a hidden folder. You can see the full UNC path double slash srt22-dc01 slash deployment share with the dollar sign. Click Next. You can specify the deployment shared folder's description. I'm going to use the default. Click Next. The screen gives us some default options for the actual deployment. They can be changed at any time. So for now, let's leave them as it is. Click Next. We are now presented with a summary screen. Click Next to move forward. The configuration will now begin and build the shared folder that WDS and MDT will use while deploying the images. The process completed successfully. Click Finish to close the wizard. Expand MDT Deployment Share which we have created on eDrive. We will now have list of items that we can use to customize our MDT share image like applications, operating systems, etc. Click on Operating Systems. Right click on it and select New Folder. Type Windows 11 as a folder name. Click Next. Click Next again. The process completed successfully. Click on Finish. We have dedicated Windows 11 folder under Operating Systems. Already, I have mounted the Windows 11 ISO image to this VM. If you have stored the Windows 11 ISO image on the local server, then double click on it to mount it. Right click on Windows 11 folder and select Import Operating System. Make sure Full Set of Source File option is selected. Click Next. Select the drive later with mounted ISO image. Let me open this PC. We can see the ISO image is mounted as a D drive. Let me close this. Click on Browse. Select the drive later with mounted ISO image. In our case, it is on a D drive. Click OK. Click Next. It has automatically detected that the ISO image is Windows 11 Enterprise Evaluation Edition. Click Next. Again, click Next. Wait for the import process to complete. This will take some time. The import process completed successfully. Click on Finish. We can see the Windows 11 Enterprise Evaluation image is uploaded successfully. And since it is an evaluation addition, under Flags, we can see Enterprise Eval is mentioned. With our image uploaded successfully, it is time to create the basic task sequence to deploy Windows 11 operating system. In order to be able to deploy the Windows image, it is necessary to create a task sequence. The task sequence is the job that MDT sends. Right-click on Task Sequences and then click on New Task Sequence. Enter an ID in Task Sequence and name the sequence. Click Next. Click on drop-down menu to see available task sequence templates. In this video, 
we will choose the standard client task sequence. Click next to continue. Select the Windows image to be installed. Under operating systems, expand Windows 11 and select the Windows 11 Enterprise Evaluation image which we have just uploaded. Click next to continue. Here we have the option to specify the product key. Choose to not specify a product key at this time. Since we are using Enterprise Evaluation Edition, product key is not needed. Click on Next. Go ahead and name your account and select a default home page if you want. Let me specify the admin as a full name. Organization name will be MSFT Webcast. We'll keep Internet Explorer home page to blank. Click Next. Enter the password for the local administrator account. Click Next to continue. Again, click Next. The process completed successfully. Click on Finish. We can see the Windows 11 task sequence which we can use to deploy Windows 11 operating system. Let's set some basic properties. This is how we will handle modifications to our settings. These changes are stored in the boot.vim or p.vim that is loaded over PXE into RAM. Anytime you want to make changes, we will need to update this vim file since these changes are written to this vim file. Let's start by right clicking on the share and selecting properties. From the general tab, it is possible to modify the physical location and UNC path. It is also possible to choose the supported versions. In recent environments, it may be possible to disable x86 support. It will save us some space. Let me clear the checkbox for x86. Click on Apply. From Rules tab, it is possible to modify the behavior of WinP during deployment. We can pre-configure options such as the keyboard time zone etc. It is also possible to access the bootstrap.ini file which is a customization file integrate into WinPE image. If you want to modify bootstrap.ini file and you have to specify the rules, you can do it from here. I'm going to close it. At the moment, we are not going to modify any rules. WinPE tab is used to configure and customize the boot images. Select x86 platform and clear the Generate a Light Touch Bootable ISO Image checkbox. You can do the same for x86 platform as well. Click on Apply. From Monitoring tab, it is possible to activate monitoring to follow the progress of deployments from the MDT console. Choose Enable Monitoring for this deployment share. Now click on Apply and OK to save it. Since we have made few changes, we have to update the deployment share. Right click on the share again and select Update Deployment Share. To update deployment share, we have two options. Optimize the boot image updating process or completely regenerate the boot images. In this example, I am going to select completely regenerate the boot images. Click Next. Click Next at the summary window so the build can begin. There is much more configuration that can be done but for the purpose of this basic setup, this will do the job. The process completed successfully. Click Finish. A Windows 11 image is ready for deployment but actually we need WDS for deployment. Let's add Windows 11 image to WDS. Open Run menu, tap WDS MGMT.msc and hit Enter key to open WDS Manager. Right click on Boot Images and select Add Boot Image. Browse to the deployment share where the Light Touch Vim is stored. Click on Browse. Click on this PC. In our case, it is on E slash deployment share slash boot. Access E drive, deployment share, and double click on boot folder. Select Light Touch P X64 and open. Click Next. Here we will be able to change the name and description of the image. I recommend doing this and changing it to something meaningful. 
click next again click next selected image has been added successfully click on finish we can see the light touch of windows 11 p boot image with the status online now we are ready to test the amletic configuration and that we will see in the next two video Our test lab is fully ready to deploy Windows 11 using MDT and WDS. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.